Okay, here's my house. Starting from the master bedroom. Haven't done much work back in here. Wonderful, wonderful room with tile. Really cool tile. This little gold inlay roof and mint green, everything. Fart fan, heating fan, single shot style, style shower. Back in here, this is the master bedroom. I've set up a temporary office in here. Floor that needs to be refinished in the washer dryer area. But there is hardwood under it, that, so it should come out nice. Closet here, furnace, bathroom that was redone, full tub and everything. Uh, two bedrooms. Here's one. This is Megan's bedroom with two closets, storing stuff. My Gen Air cooktop. My Montgomery Ward's water here. TV panel. Electrical work tonight. Nothing since everyone's gonna have it. Who's gonna be like, oh yeah, I'll take care And then the living room with new flooring. There's the flooring we like where the fall wall was. And then laced it in and then continue the new flooring into the kit into the kitchen. Here's the wall we moved a little bit to make more room by the front door. Super crazy lawyer. Kitchen cabinets. Refrigerator. Fur down went away. We're gonna do a 36 36 by 12 above the refrigerator. Corner cabinet, 12 inch cabinet, nothing over the window, double base. We'll probably put six inches from the ceiling with fluorescent lights, sink base, granite countertops. Refrigerator is going to move back behind me in that space right here. And then we have a four foot by seven foot base with a one foot kick, 42 inches wide, four foot kick, and then canvas on either side. There's the pantry that we built. And there's the door that's going to go in the pantry. Now, in the pantry, I built in because because of what I do with the wall here. We got a six-inch deep wall. I put a built-in cabinet, so the sheetrock will be in the back side of it. And those are doors with shelves. Actually, uh, large medicine cabinets from IKEA. Modified them a little bit, but they should work fine for paperback books and for CDs, which are probably really going to be used for in the office. Uh, base cabinet, trash compactor, other cabinet, door out to the garage, place for a kitchenette, like that of course. Let's walk around to the office side, and everywhere there's hardwood, and it's going to be great once they get done refinishing it. They, as you can see, we leveled the floor. It's not real straight. It's up a little bit higher than here, but there's going to be a threshold there, and I didn't worry about it. But to level the floor and get it nice and flat, which we did get nice and flat, office, the other side of the cabinets will look mirrored fronts. I also punched another cabinet in there. Those are drawers for storing paper. Paper or knickknacks. Probably just going to store paper for my credenza. My desk credenza will go on this wall here. And then my de desk will be in front of it. Right here. Right here. Of course, the fireplace. This is the door going out to the closet, to the garage. This was the old door going out to the garage. I need to shorten it just a little bit so it flows right. But right now it seals, which is good because it's cold and heck out here. So you'll walk straight into a section of five by three. And then if you turn 90 degrees, there's a two by two by section of, garage, of, of closet. Haven't set out the walls yet, so I didn't do that because it would be easier for them to lay the floor. We'll do that now. There's the other brick wall I pulled down. And the back side of the cabinet, this is the garage. I can actually pull my car into this side of the garage. And the other side of the garage is my tool section where I got my workshop benches and everything else. And then over there, there's a door going into a little 4x5 basically closet. And then there's my attic up there. It's a platform built on top. That's all the attic storage I got. What else? That's it. So I hope you enjoy my house. Bye.